Well, this is something I don't always do, but I do it sometimes. When I get through with a cylinder head, it's washed, it cleaned up, ready to ship. If uh, I've really pushed them hard, and which I did these, I'll go in there with my sonic checker and record some sonic thicknesses. Remember that I also done this to Imahoff, okay? So we went in there, and I mean, I just hit a few areas in the bowls to see what kind of thicknesses we got. And that's basically what we're going to do right here. Um, let me write this out real quick. Okay. That way I can write as I'm doing it here. Got to make UPS in a couple of minutes, so you know how that goes. Alright. So what I'm going to do right now is we're going to hit some spots in here. See what kind of thicknesses we got and see how, because my sonic checker told me when I was doing this, there ain't nothing left. That's why, in a way, I was upset when I got real close to 300, but I didn't quite get it. Man, there's just not no more cylinder head left. It's just not thick enough to get the other shape I wanted. So, let us go ahead and see what we got. Okay. Sonic Checker says you always have to dip this damn thing in this, um, wow. Alright, at, uh, one inch down, let me draw some on my map. One, two, and then... One inch down, I'm coming up with 140. See, I knew there wasn't much left of this. Wow. All right. A hundred and thirty-five. Now I'm gonna go all the way deep in there. Wow. Ninety one thousandths, ninety one. Okay, sorry, don't mean to be in the way. All right, now let's get a view from another angle here. I don't know if you can see the sonic checker, but I got the light there, and maybe you'll see the numbers and what I'm getting out of it. I wish I could have showed you that, but at that angle, I couldn't. 91, 135, and, and 140. Wow. It don't get much more than that. I'm, I'm here to tell you on that side, that's your push rod side is what I call it. All right, now, let's go ahead and take us a dive on the long side of the bowl. A hundred and ten thousandths. Okay. Now, you see how it moves and jumps? It'll stop doing that. This is a messy damn job, guys. I don't mean to tell you. Wow. 89. And now our last pickup point. There's, like I said, there's just nothing left. You know, you, you, I'll be honest with you. Ninety-two. Okay. You just... Jason Collins said it best. <laughs> you can't make chicken salad out of chicken shit. But he told me himself that he'd never seen a set of these hit them kind of numbers. He, he congratulated me for it, and I, I appreciate him. 
Wow, 94. Woo! Remember me telling you on a street head, my factor of safety, I never go below 80. I'm going to call that 89. Wow, 98. Now, that pretty much tells us the whole bow area, the backside, and the sweep. And, and what we got, as you can see, there's just really nothing left here. So we're going to stop right here on, the, on this sonic part. And uh, I'm going to bring you over here to the map. As you can see now, just like, you know, I, I, I tried to, when I was explaining about the thickness, this is 91 thousandths at an inch 800 deep in the bowl, 135 thousandths at an inch, and then right up here below the seat, 140. Now this is going to be the push rod side. Straight going off the bowl, 110 at the deepest point, midway 89 and then 92. So pretty much all these are under 100s. Now on the right side, we're at 94, 89, and 98. Uh, you just can't do nothing else with it. That's what we got. So now the only thing we need to do is match a CC volume to this, and we're going to have some serious answers in terms of flow numbers, sonic thicknesses, wall thicknesses, and runner volumes.